My goal was never to teach them physics, it was to teach them to think like a physicist. And the reason we think that, it might be a little bit egocentric, but we think that physicists have this real incredible critical thinking ability. It's, it, you know, like we can make assumptions really well, we can take things that we haven't seen before and try and come up with a model for how they work. And that actually turns out to be really useful in the 21st century in every aspect of their life. I think it really reassured me because I was very apprehensive at the start, not knowing any physics. And he was really patient and would sit down and work through the problems and teach me ways of I guess analysing them and breaking them down to bits of information I could handle. That, like seeing someone get something or giving them a different perspective and, and showing them something they, they never thought they could understand or a, a kind of, an, you know, being able to do something they couldn't do before, that's incredibly rewarding for me. There's not a lot of that in other courses, it's a bit like you're a number, you're just another student. Whereas I remember the first day we were there he went around and shook everybody's hands and introduced himself which you don't get in other courses. I have a background in quantum physics and in that area in the experimental research lab, we really had to build a lot of stuff ourselves and you'd have a problem and you had to go solve it. And I think when people buy into that, they learn a lot more than when you sort of sit and say, this is how you solve this problem following a recipe from a textbook. Um, so that kind of influenced the course, but then that went much beyond that because I really wanted a space to support that kind of activity on campus and I wanted it to be a space that had more than just physics. So I wanted a home for that and so I went around making a lot of noise about having a maker space on campus. I think these kinds of spaces that have fabrication facilities so students can design things, build them, program them with you know simple computers, do the electronics, do all the hardware, um, can facilitate a lot of that problem-based learning and, and self-directed learning. He's much more than a lecturer. He talks to people, he tries to make things happen, and if there's some sort of barrier stopping something from happening as quickly or as, efficiency, as efficiently as he wants it, he will get around that. And he brings that attitude to us. So there's a lot of encouragement there. There's the tangible facilities here, but also he's supported us in introducing us to other people in the university. So he's been prepared to back us and put himself alongside us. All of this pain that we sometimes go through and all of the time it takes and you're marking things and responding to messages on the weekend and so on and oh they're not getting Newton's equations but actually just that one or two students a year that, that come to you and say this course has made a huge impact on the rest of my education is enough to make me want to come back, get up every day and actually feel very lucky.